thanks for joining us. This is Architecture All Access, and we are lucky to be joined by Doug Boom, Principal Engineer in Intel's Ethernet Products Group. Hopefully, you've just finished watching Doug's video on Ethernet technology. If so, you've come to the right place. If not, the link for that video is in the description below. Now, we're gonna take a deep dive into some details of Ethernet and its impact on our lives. Doug, thanks for joining us today and great work you did on that Ethernet video. Now, technology touches our lives every single day, but Ethernet in particular had a special impact on your life. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, Ethernet was just something that I had worked on and uh, enjoyed as a, as a technology in his career. And then my wife ended up having a cancer scare and she ended up being fine, but ended up having to get a diagnostic done on her that was an ultrasound as we waited for the technician, uh, realized that that was a design win that you and I had worked on and the ethernet was connecting the, the data wand to the display that the, uh, was gonna be interpreted to see whether she was gonna be okay or not. And so that was when ethernet became very transformative to me because it's gonna potentially help save the life of a loved one. And that's really just the beginning of what ethernet can do. I remember the day you called me right after that and shared that with me, pretty impactful for your life. So you've been a principal engineer at Intel in the Ethernet products division. Tell us a little bit about the day-to-days for a principal engineer at Intel. It's a very exciting time because as a principal engineer, I have to interface from you know CTOs all the way down to bottom level engineers and be able to speak with them and see their challenges and help create solutions. And the products that they make and the technologies and the solutions that they make are just just mind boggling. And every time I think I've seen, you know, the craziest, whatever, there's always a, a more innovation to be seen. And I just enjoy working with all of it. And Intel has been part of Ethernet since day one. Intel was one of the original contributors to the IEEE 802.3 spec. So our customers really look to us as the go-to for support for Ethernet. Yeah, we have a joke around the office where we say, oh, Intel does Ethernet now, even though, you know, we've been there for the whole 40 years it's been around. Intel stands very publicly behind its products. We have public data sheets. We have public spec updates. And when you call us on the phone for support, we're there. You know, Intel takes customers and customer relationships very seriously. And it's something that I enjoy to do. Well, in addition to developing Ethernet as the foundation for networks, Intel's done a lot of investing in the same space with acquisitions and technology. Tell us a little bit about those products. You know, a network is on pieces, right? And so if you're just a Nick talking to yourself, you're just like a person having a conversation by yourself, you look a little silly. So we've added some partners to our portfolio. There's Barefoot Networks that is a switching technology company, which has gone into latest series of CPUs and allows you to really have an integrated fabric. We have Silicon Photonics, which is really revolutionizing the way that the physical layer works. And as we start moving into faster speeds, 400 gig demands a re-envisioning of not only the Mac, but the file layer as well. And now we have all those capabilities in house. Mm -hmm. Another category that Intel started talking about as of last year was IPUs or infrastructure processing units. Tell us about the benefits for the data center that can be reamed from using IPUs. Yeah, data centers really have some great usage models around data and they end up with the infrastructure and, and tenant workloads. And the challenge is, is that you need to separate those workloads in order to maximize their efficiencies. And with the IPU, you let the infrastructure portion do the infrastructure work and you let the tenant work be done on the CPU, which is incredibly capable. And when you have that segmentation, now you can get into infrastructure offloads that helps move some of the microservices to be more effective. And with these new components, it really allows you to do things like a diskless server infrastructure where you have you know, one gold image that sits feeding 15,000 nodes all because of the power of the IPU. Incredible. I see a real positive future for IPUs in the data center and beyond. But you and I both know Ethernet is everywhere. You've seen some really unique uses of Ethernet. Tell us about where you've seen Ethernet. Yeah, every time I thought I've seen the end of where the crazy places it can go, I, I always get reminded of just how much innovation Ethernet is inspiring. There is Ethernet on Mars right now. There is Ethernet at the bottom of the ocean and in airplanes flying above us. As much as there's not a car in a data center, there's a data center in every car. And the next generation of autonomous driving is going to have 20 to 40 Ethernet ports per car. And that type of innovation is just only continuing. 
It's been exciting working with you in my career. And you and I worked to really help customers reveal the benefits of Intel Ethernet. What do you think the future for Intel Ethernet is? Every time I think I know what the future is going to be like, there's more innovation, there's more amazing things that happen. And you know, just thinking back where we've gone over the first 40 years of Ethernet, the next 40 are going to be uh, even more amazing just because of the foundation of those first 40 years. Tug, thanks for joining me today. Sounds like a great time to be an Intel engineer. For more information on Intel Ethernet, go to intel.com slash ethernet. <laughs>